What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Anabolic Kitchen. A lot of these cooking channels on YouTube are notoriously catabolic. You wanna lose muscle and gain a spare tire? Watch them channels. But if you wanna build muscle, eat good tasting food, and have a bicep that's extremely kissable, then you came to the right place. But first, pump dirt. Hey babe. Gotta do a little pup date for the boy Logan. Hey babe. Something about a puppy just makes every day better. Hit that thumbs up button if you agree. We get updated x-rays in two weeks and hopefully here soon, four weeks or so, he's gonna be out of the cast and join the good puppy life. My raccoon boy. In today's video, we are making anabolic pizza burritos. When you think pizza and you think burritos, you don't normally think anabolic, but I promise you, if you guys follow this recipe, not only are you gonna get a delicious, tasty, gooey burrito, you're actually gonna enjoy eating it and you're gonna make some gains at the same time. This is super simple, anybody can do it. I promise, if you were able to figure out your phone to get to this video, pull it up and watch it, then you can make this. Don't take my word for it, just watch, and I promise you, by the end of this, you're gonna go, you know what? I think I can make that, and you can. So if you guys are ready to get another epic Remington James video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! The difference between success with this recipe and making something that's gonna help you achieve your goals, high in protein, high in fiber, gonna make you feel full, it's gonna be satisfying, right? All of that is dependent on the ingredients we use. You need to pay attention to what I'm gonna show you because these crucial little tweaks to your everyday ingredients are what's gonna make all the difference. So first off, let's start with the tortillas, come on. Step one, for every burrito you wanna make, lay out a little square piece of foil and spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. Light little coating, there are calories in this, but you don't want your burrito sticking to it after you make it. Protein Tip. Now, arguably the most crucial step of this entire thing is choosing the right tortilla. The brand you pick does not matter. What matters is the macros and calories in the brand. So what I'm using here, La Tortilla Factory Low Carb Whole Wheat Tortillas. You can look here on the label, only 90 calories a piece, 13 grams of fiber, eight grams of protein, only three grams of fat, that's perfect. Eight grams of protein, pretty solid. 13 grams of fiber, that's gonna keep us super full, help with our digestion, and help cut down on the calories, man. If you have the option to choose foods higher in fiber, do it. It makes cutting way easier. You're going to feel fuller. It's going to fill your stomach up. And the fuller you are, the less likely you are to cheat on your diet. That's just, that's just nature, bud. That's just nature. Once we got the burritos laid out, the next thing we want to do is add our cheese. If you watch any of my pizza videos, you know, fat-free mozzarella, I use this, is literally the only cheese I use. The only cheese I keep in the house. Fat-free mozzarella. Don't do reduced fat. Don't do whole milk, for God's sake, you monster. Fat-free. Way less calories in each serving. 28 grams of this has 9 grams of protein, 1 gram of carb, 0 grams of fat. This is literally a protein source here. And it melts and it's gooey and it tastes amazing. It's about making better options. So what I need is 56 grams for each burrito. So I'm gonna weigh that out in a food scale. Make sure you're using a food scale if you wanna make sure you're hitting your macros right. When I started weighing my stuff out was when the real results started happening because I knew exactly what I was putting in my body. Just take your 56 grams of cheese and lay it out on your burrito. And I'm telling you, these are not skimpy burritos, guys. But there's one thing on this channel I'm a fan of is eating. I wanna eat a lot of food, right? But I want it to be low calorie, high in protein, high in fiber. I'm going to work for me. That's exactly what we're doing here, man. Look at all this cheese. I'm telling you, this turns out so gooey. You're going to love it. I think we're all in agreement that everybody loves pepperonis, right? If you don't like pepperonis, you're probably a vegan. And if you're a vegan, I don't, I don't know why you're here. I honestly don't. But instead of regular pepperonis, we are using turkey pepperonis. These things are a godsend. I literally don't think they taste much different, if at all different, than regular pepperonis, except they're only 70 calories a serving versus like 150. So we get half the calories and we get nine grams of protein, only four grams of fat, zero carbs. Each burrito will get 30 grams of turkey pepperoni and that actually ends up being like 17 pepperonis. So like I said, we ain't skimping. You don't just get one or two pepperonis and you're waiting. We want a pepperoni in every single bite. And I did weigh this out too with my food scale, just in case you think I did and I did, just assume I did and boom. Now this is an optional step, don't gotta do this, but I like to put a little bit of oregano on here, zero calories, add that nice little pizza flavor, you know what it is. Sometimes it's the little things that really make that flavor go boom. Now we gotta add our sauce, and after doing some research and trying different sauces, the best sauce I found, the lowest calorie, that has amazing flavor without any unnecessary like fat added from olive oil or no goofy crap, is just regular old pizza sauce, man, who knew? 25 calories a serving, you really can't beat it. And if you're the type of person that doesn't like chunks of tomato and goofy stuff in your pasta, sauce. This does the trick, man. So we need 63 grams. And you're just gonna pour it right on top. Make sure you get all of it, man, because you want that, I promise. Nice. 
So now is where the fun begins. We gotta roll this bad boy up. It's really not that hard once you've done it a couple times and I am by no means perfect, but I make the most of it. So I like to kind of push everything to the middle the best that I can and I'll fold these two sides over, make them touch and I'll get in on this side and I wanna roll this all the way over. Kind of push some stuff in if it's falling out. Get it up underneath, tuck it and roll it. Bingo, is it perfect? No. Is it gonna taste any different? No. Then just fold over, do it again, fold down, fold down and wallow. So now we got a couple burritos. What do we do with them? A logical man says you eat them, which is what we're gonna do so I can show you how good they are. But the thing with these burritos, right, the difference between these and some of the other ones I've made is that the ingredients don't go bad the same as they would in other burritos. So you're not like cooking chicken breast and it's gonna go bad in a week. This is all stuff that has a pretty long fridge life. So you can throw these in the fridge for a week and a half, two weeks without cooking them and they're good to go. You can prep these out way in advance, throw a bunch in the freezer, grab and go as you need them. If you just got them in the fridge a couple minutes in the microwave and these things are done and ready to go, just don't microwave the foil because that's not good. I've never tried it, but I've not heard good things. But my favorite way to make them, 400 degrees in the oven, 15, 20 minutes. Ooh, I'm just gonna have to show you. Let's do it. Preheat your oven, sit them on a baking sheet, toss them in here, boom. Set a timer, and it's that simple, folks. I'm gonna see you guys when these are done. And boom, we just pulled these out of the oven. Let's take a look. Oh, baby. Let me get that off that foil. Good old fashioned pizza cutter. Let's go right down the middle. Ooh, baby. Look at that. Gooey, cheesy, saucy. Everything you need in a burrito, man. Once you hear what the macros are on these bad boys, it's gonna blow your mind, I promise. And once you taste it, that's a whole different story. So before these get cold, let's try them out. All right, let's get this thing going. Mountain Dew Zero, waiting in the wings. Pizza burrito, she still looks pretty melty. Get a load of that, man. Oof. I'm telling you, if you've been missing pizza in your diet, you're gonna love this. All right, guys, let's do it. Three, two, one, let go. Mm. One of my favorite foods as a kid was Hot Pockets. Loved Hot Pockets, and this literally tastes like the same thing. Except it's good for you. Mm. Wow. Mm. I left these ones in the oven for 15 minutes. If you want like really gooey cheese, make sure you do it for like 20 to 25. That's like the, the cheese explosion gooeyness. Mm. Wow. Guys, I wouldn't lie to you. Seriously. Four ingredient recipe, four ingredients. And every now and again, I'll get a comment. It's like, you're not really making anything. You're just combining a few ingredients. But my argument to that is who cares how simple it is, right? The simpler it is, the easier it is to make every single day. Do you want to have a three hour recipe? You got to spend time preparing? Do you want to be able to whip something together that tastes good, meet your goals, easy to shop for. I mean, shit, I know which one I want. Mm. Wow. Seriously, guys, if you made this for your girlfriend, for your kids, for someone that didn't know it was supposed to be healthy, they would have no idea this wasn't like the real thing. They would think you just made pizza burritos. Seriously. Wow. Woo. So in one of these burritos, exactly how I made it. It's 324 calories. It's got eight grams of fat, 36 grams of protein, 27 grams of carbs, and 14 grams of fiber. So I just ate one of those, 324 calories. And the protein in conjunction with that fiber, I'm like pretty full, pretty satisfied. But I am going to go ahead and eat two because I made them and why not? Ooh, baby. Huh? Mm. See, when you don't cut it in half, it stays hot. It stays gooey in there. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Wouldn't like to you guys. I wouldn't like to. This is great. Feel free to throw some vegetables in there, throw some spinach in there, throw something in there if you want to get your greens in. But if you're lazy like me, you just want to get it done and over with. Grab a container of Final Boss Greens, available on FinalBossStores.com, Amazon.com, free two-day shipping. Use code RJF10 for 10% off. Get a scoop, and that way you're covered, man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, oh, that's great. Ooh, I won't lie to you. It doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste good. She wants to chase it with something, man. Mix it with a Gatorade Zero something. Ugh, you can just get that out of the way. But we don't gotta worry about it, man. Cover those nutritional bases. Mmm, that's a sight to behold right there, man. Mm, final bite. Ooh, I am stuffed. Worth it, though. So think about it. And those two burritos that I just had, 650 calories, 28 grams of fiber, and 72 grams of protein. Dieting anabolic, I don't know what is. Dieting does not have to be boring, and dieting doesn't mean giving up your favorite foods. You got a pizza craving? have this instead of ordering the large dominoes. And I promise your body and your gains will thank you for it. If you are new to this whole fitness thing, you don't know how much you should be eating. You don't know what macros are. You don't know how you should be weighing out your food according to your body type, according to your goals, according to your workout regimen, whatever. Check out my site, RubyJaysFitness.com. I can make you a meal plan. I have you choose from a list of foods. You can select what you like and I'll build you a plan based around that according to your goals. So I promise you'll get results. I guarantee it as long as you follow it. That's it. Thank you guys as always for watching. Smash that thumbs up button. If you enjoyed the video, comment anything at all down below. I don't care what you put down there, but whatever you do, it all helps the algorithm, right? Put Dr. Greg for president. Put Remington is looking strapping these days. Put something. I don't care, man. Thank you guys, as always, for watching. And until next time, I will see each and every one of you at the next video.
See you guys. That was good.